welcome to Phantom Loot Art Box. My name is Deborah, and this is another vlog gamer edition. It is the continuation to the Aglia uh, 24 man raid that I did in Final Fantasy XIV uh, probably a few months back. Um, this one is the second part to it. I think it's called like the Forazine or something like that. It's been out for a while, but for those of you that are interested in playing, figured I would do another vlog regarding that. If you hear some tippy tappies in the background, it is my husband who is sitting beside me. So you may hear him doing things or laughing or tippy tapping on the keyboard. <laughs> um, too bad he can't play with us today, but perhaps another time. So here's my character. She's at her house. Right now I'm on Reaper. And I'm going to switch to Healer because that is my main class. Um, if you notice from before, I now have a little icon up here. Uh, that means that I am a battle mentor, which means that for Sprouts on the game, I can give them advice if they ask questions and whatnot. It's basically like an over-glorified title, I would say. Um, you basically just have to level a class in each category to 90. Um, and once you, once you get each category to 90, so you have a tank, a healer, a DPS, both in magic, um, aiming, and close range. Once you have 90 in all of those categories and you have 1,500 commendations in the game, you can get mentor status. Um, but I'm a battle mentor, so that just means that I, I can mentor in different uh, fights. However, there's crafting mentors as well, so if you like crafting, you just have to level a crafter in each specific category. So when I mean category, um, here you can see I have a 90 Paladin, 90 Ninja or Reaper, 90 Scholar or Sage, 90 Dancer, and 90 Black Mage Summoner and Red Mage. So I have one in every category, which makes me a battle mentor plus the reputation which is 1500 commendations of people just um giving you commendations when they like what you did or they like how you played or you kept them alive during a fight uh and this has been accumulated over time it's not something that you get like right away um and then the same goes for crafting and i'm almost afraid to show you my crafters because i hate crafting <laughs> my husband loves it but i hate it so i only have two crafters at 90 which is really sad because i've been on the game for a long time and just haven't bothered to level any of these because i find them boring but you know eventually i'll get around to it uh when i have time and right now i just don't have the time to be crafting so Let's get into it. Euphorazine is um, the 24-man raid, as I said, uh, the continuation of Aglia. I'm just going to repair my stuff first. Let me go in and repair. And I'm hoping I'm not lagging, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, the load time's a little slow, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Oh, man, yeah, she's lagging a little. I just want to repair that. Uh, I'm not sure I can play this way. Let's hopefully I can. Okay. So, for those of you who have not gone through Aglia um, or have not really been up to date with story, it might be best to stop the video now. For those of you looking to see what Aglia would look like or what the game looks like and be interested in playing the game, then feel free to continue to watch. I skipped the cutscenes, so you're not going to see any of those, and it's just going to be the 24-man raid. So let's go into the duty finder, and let's click Euphorazine. So Aglia was up top, Euphorazine's here, and we will click Join. And then we wait. So this is the part that, uh, <laughs> this is the part where I should have probably talked, but it's fine. So while I wait, sometimes I do quests, like regular quests, or I'll go do the cat pot or whatever. Um, for this one, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go do the cat pot at the gold saucer. And that's just like a 
lottery system. Yeah, I hope I'm not lagging because this would be bad if I go in there and I'm healing, but I'm also lagging. So Euphorazine is popped after it popped once <laughs> and a member withdrew. So now I'm going to commence and we're going to head on in. Hopefully nobody withdraws again. We'll, we'll see how, how this goes. It's that one tank that's asleep, I'm telling you. Usually it's one DPS that's asleep, but we're going in, so we'll see. Okay, hopefully I don't lag. Let's see. Oh, already not doing. All right. This just looks like a, a big old farm going on here. Oh, there's a bit of lag. Yeah. So there's the portraits of each player. They didn't have that before. It was just a list. Music here is kind of insane. I actually prefer the music in Agbia. Most people should know the fight. This has been around for a little bit, so um, I'm expecting less deaths, and hopefully, I don't have to heal too badly. So that says I'm going to go left. Um, I don't think I'm going to go left before this or after this goes out. I think after. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I want to leave space on my left, and I know that she's going to do an AoE in the middle. <laughs> it's basically like a pattern, so if it's yellow, it's yellow, if it's blue, it's blue. I won't discuss all the mechanics uh, once you get here. If you plan on playing, you will see the mechanics. Basically, you'll learn the hard way like all of the rest of us. So it's telling me forward facing, which means at some point I am going to run forward without any control. Oh, that's not good. That's spicy. Oh, I'm going to get hit by that. Oof. Oh, no, I'm going to get hit by that. I'm going to die. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man, I died. 
Sorry, that looks like the race. You know what I hate? When healers raise you, but they don't heal you. They just like leave you to die again after they raise you. It's annoying. Because you know that when healers come up, they have no MP to do anything. It's kind of irritating. These are not what I need. Yeah, one of my biggest pet peeves is when, like, a healer raises you and then they don't heal you, but you know they have stacks. So, like, a sage has these, like, stacks that heal you um, at least halfway or gives you a little bit of HP so that you can survive, but uh, a lot of healers will just raise and then they won't heal. Um, white mage and specifically, they do that a lot, but like technically they have benediction, they have a bell, they can use a whole bunch of spells to heal people. So yeah, that's that's a little pet peeve of mine. Um, I try to keep people topped off as much as possible when I'm playing, but yeah. That's I usually die sometimes to that mechanic just because like you don't know where the AoE circles are gonna pop. And then the grid pops on top of that, and then the forward or left-right mechanic happens right after that. So you can tell that I'm kind of tired, too. <laughs> but hey, all in good fun. All to show you what, um, what this place looks like, so... the behemoth. Okay, oh, ears coming down. Yeah, I have to be really awake for this because I think I think because of the <laughs> the filming, my my computer's like lagging a little bit, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Cause on this fight you can pretty much fall off the platform, so maybe you'll see me punt off the platform. This is a weird dynamic. They're brother and sister, but it they don't look like brother and sister to be honest. So fire usually means don't move. Oh shit. Let's 
two o'clock, which means he's going to haste this particular move, which again is fire. So just means I don't have to move. Gravity, or slime that keeps you grounded, or something. Some purple goo. I don't know. Water. Oof. He's being a little nasty today. This is a knockback. Oh, my nose is itching. Hate it when that happens while you're playing. Okay. Red, red. Yeah. So the card I have is ice, which means when this thing goes off, I have to be moving. Oh my gosh, he's being really mean to me today. <laughs> he just put the cone where I'm standing. That's not cool. So this party is probably going to fly past the next knockback, which is this one. Because they have high gear. As I said, this raid has been around for a bit, so let's see what I get. Oh, uh, the nose is itching. Uh, so if you see me looking at the treasure or loot or whatever, I'm actually just looking for a weekly drop, which... You only get one a week until they unlock it, and then you can gold as many times on as many items as you want. But for now, when the raids are new, you can only ra roll on one piece of armor a week. Oh, these things are a pain. see the choppiness I'm lagging a little bit so this fight might be a little more rocky um, 
whenever I have the background uh, recorder on, it usually lags my computer just a little bit. I have to kind of upgrade my computer at some point. But uh, this particular boss is very quick, um, and she it requires memory. <laughs> This is my husband's, one of my husband's favorite bosses. Her name is Halone, and she does a lot of stuff, so you'll see. Okay, so here's where the memory comes in. She'll do the move first. You have to remember where she's done it, and then it'll go off after in that order. So there, I almost stepped out a little bit too soon. I didn't, but I almost did. Okay, in. She was a real treat when she first came out. I'll say that. I'm C, so I have to go where C is. And so should the rest of my party. These people are in the wrong spots, but it's fine. It's not really going to affect anything. It would have when like, we first did this raid, but now it doesn't really matter. Remember she's going into the top half, okay. So the ice makes people frozen, like that guy. Uh, I gave him a few shields so that he would survive it. But now she is in the wrong spot. Okay, see, here we go. Since the towers aren't completed in time, these AoEs go around in a circle, but since we completed one tower, that mechanic is not going to go off. should take minimal damage, I think. Yeah, like a little to no damage. There we go. The power of sacred soil and the fairy combined. The big fairy, anyway. This 
side. Yeah, see how there's like a little space to sort of dodge that. Then everybody has to spread out. This guy's not moving, so I'm gonna move up. Then she does the red stuff, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I don't have all my party members here. I can't tell which ones are frozen and which ones are not, so I can't save any of them if they are going to die. But it looks like they are okay. Left, out, right. Oh, she is bad. She is so bad. I have no haste for them. You saw how quick that was. That was super quick. When this first came out, she was one of the harder bosses that a lot of people couldn't really, like, the party would like. But since everybody has, like, OP gear now and they're all, like, up to date and this raid has been up for a while, they're alright. I mean, they're killing it a lot faster than before. Okay, so this is a spread and stack. I don't know what this guy's doing. There we go. It's funny too because these raids used to take like a lot longer to finish. A lot longer. <laughs> they like got rid of a lot of trash mobs and mechanics. Like I remember like Labyrinth of the Ancients when it came out, the first raid that you ever go into that's 24 men. It took forever. <laughs> um and it would be like, if a, one party does something wrong, then the rest of you are going to like pretty much wipe. Uh, they still have some mechanics that are like that in these ones, but I found that when you first start the game, um, back before when you didn't have the skills that you have now and they didn't dumb it down a little bit, it was actually super hard to get past uh, these 24 man raids. Like, I'm partially glad they fixed Healer a little bit. I didn't really care for the stance stance, and uh, if you guys are watching and you've played this game since beta, since maybe eight years ago, then you know what I'm talking about. The stance stance was very painful. It's basically like switching from DPS mode to Healer mode. Um, and it was a pain in the butt. You basically have to click one button every time to switch modes to maximize your DPS, uh, your your damage as a healer. So they got rid of that. You don't have to do that anymore. Oh, tanks. Don't kill each other. All these tanks are going to kill each other. Good job. Of course, of course she puts her right where I'm standing, god. Evil. So she's the last boss of the team. I think she looks like Hats Hatsumiku, <laughs> like a version of her. I feel like they drew inspiration from the uh, anime singer, but anyway, that's just me. Okay, I gotta run, gotta run.
taking a fancy look at the blood streets. I don't have any mystery stacks, so we're gonna take a bit of damage. Unless the sage is putting up some heals. I mean, he's putting up a little bit. The problem is, as a healer, you can tell when your healing partner is not healing <laughs> or lack of healing, but anyway. Some healers, they prefer to DPS. They prefer to damage the enemy as opposed to actually heal the party, so I get that, wanting to get a little bit more DPS pumped out. So you have to kind of look at where her ice is and where his hook is to find where the safe spot is. You see my eyes like kind of darting from like one side of the screen to the other. That has to do with uh, the healer party, like the party list. So I usually look up top or look down below at the party list to determine who needs healing. Just so you're not thinking, oh, her eyes are crazy. She's just darting her eyes everywhere. Like a crazy person. Okay, there's no one over here with me. This is kind of sad. <laughs> uh, slippy slidey. I'm just gonna slip a little bit over here. I should be safe, I think. Yeah. Ooh, that's a stack. Give whoever's with me a bit of haste. Feel like he's gonna put ice on this side. Feel like he is. Well, maybe not, just big AoEs. Alright. Okay, I'm in a good spot. They haven't used the limit the right yet. That person is going in the wrong direction. Ooh, okay. I would have rescued them, but I'm lagging, so I don't really want to. I don't think I could have got to them in time. And when I say rescue, I mean like I pull one person from one side of the arena to the other. Usually when I'm not streaming, I would do it, <laughs> but since I'm streaming, not a good idea. Okay, I already have the minion. Just want to see. Oh man, yeah, I'm lagging pretty bad. No casting pants, so I'm going to leave. You can hear the tippy tap of my husband swaying his head, bobbing up and down, he's listening to his music. And that's it, that's Euphorazine. So, I'm not sure how you guys liked it. I died once. <laughs> but that's inevitable when you play video games. Um, Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully if you want to see more videos like this where I'm playing FF or playing another game, let me know and I will try to stream it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great day, great night. Right now it's nighttime, so like and subscribe and do the thing, you know, and I'll catch you guys later.